Is your everyday life becoming all too mundane and predictable? Well, let me tell you something. Reality has its own fair share of weirdness, if you know where to look. Here, I present you the most absurd photos that will leave you stupefied. Heels can boost your height and confidence by several inches, and they can be quite difficult to walk on. But I don't think that putting smaller shoes beneath your actual heels will help that much. Shoeception, anyone? Ads need to capture your attention. They're costly and require a ton of creativity. But there's a fine line between genius marketing and what on earth is going on marketing. Just imagine seeing this on your way to work. A car and another car positioned right above it. All meant to advertise Jesus for people who have their life upside down. Marriage is a big deal, but apparently not to everyone like this couple. Next up, an image of what can only be a third-rate rapper getting married. This has to be the fountain they opted for. But it gets weirder. Here's a couple getting married, but not at a church or beach or even a pretty garden. Nope, because what's more romantic than a wedding at a discount tire shop? Check out that tire arrangement. So this is why hippies wear dreadlocks. They're large enough for people to store their weed inside. With a helpful zipper, of course. Here's a question. Is common sense actually common? Because, well, I don't think this should exist if it is. Just look at it. An actual reminder that people can't just take some milk for their coffee and not pay for the whole product. What kind of world are we living in? A Mercedes-Benz is a status symbol of relative luxury, but there's something unusual with this specific vehicle right here. He's got all the money in the world to buy a Benz, so why cover it with velvet? It will accumulate dust and dirt in no time. Well, at least he didn't do what this artist did. He covered his car in chalk so people could draw on it. Granted, it's creative, but we all know it's just a matter of time before man sausages appear all over it. Finally, for something just as annoying to look at, this distracting and annoying chrome car. Chest hair can be attractive, just maybe not when styled like this. I think most people would prefer him to wear a cheesy Christmas jumper rather than this poorly designed tree exposed on his chest. A plus for the effort though. Same with this kid's spider tattoo, but that's surely baiting people to slap your head. When you permanently mark your skin with something, make sure it's a nice design. This dog-woman hybrid is a little too creepy for my liking. But there are plenty more bad designs out there like this galaxy tattooed on a woman's chest. Looks more like a kid's gone crazy with the crayons to me. At least she could sell this to a tattoo removal company as a before picture. Then there was this guy who tried to copy a tattoo artist's piece of work, and well, his artist carried forward a remnant from the original design. Let's not think of this as a nipple, though. I say it's more like an in-text citation. A brand new car is fantastic. Take it out on the road and show everyone what you've rightfully earned. An old but reliable car is alright as well, but this is just... Why? He literally paid for his new car to look like it's been around even before he was born. But wait, that might be ingenious. This way potential thieves won't bother robbing it. Maybe he's onto something. The thought of going to the dentist makes most people nervous, so this kind of dentist office is going to make me extremely anxious. I assume they even take the theme to the bathroom here, so expect these urinals. On the subject of dentists, what on earth is going on here? I guess my dentist isn't so bad after all. How you shave your facial hair affects how attractive you'll be. This long mustache is impressively done, but I'm not going to do this to mine anytime soon. Likewise, I wouldn't wear this out, but I respect this man's attempt at a Reddit alien. As a Batman fan though, I'd definitely wear this. Are you hungry? Well, try not to bite down on this, because this isn't corn. Look closely. Those aren't kernels, but disgustingly yellow teeth along with some shiny metal ones. Yeah, it looks like the start of an alternate reality where everything's on a cob. I'm sure you've seen people with stretched out skin and giant holes. It's not exactly rare these days, but people are getting more creative with it, like this guy who has a tattoo of a hamster to make his ear look like a hamster wheel. But ear holes are overrated. How about a hole under your lip so that you can lick people with your mouth closed? Look at these shoes, that bottom portion. Why would anyone want this? That one simple change ruins the entire purpose of the shoe. Want a car that won't grab the attention of everyone? How about a catfish car? Give me my credit card and sign me up. Oh wait, there's more? Looks like the catfish car has some competition. Why get that silly car when you can have this incredibly luxurious hippo car? Maybe this is what happens if Cars and Zootopia had a crossover movie. 
Imagine partying and drinking all night, and then the next day while you're still hungover, you see this on the road. Yeah, you'll still think you're drunk, but believe it or not, this thing drives as well. Rick Sullivan, the man who built this, must have been smoking some pretty strong stuff to come up with it. If I wanted my house to look like a millionaire's paradise, I'd get a fancy chandelier. But if I want my visitors to panic and see how stressed I am every day, I'd get this chandelier of broken dinner plates. To match it, you could get this one made of cutlery as well. Life's hard. Every tiny thing is being monetized. So why not capitalize on what you have? Like this guy who knows the value his mohawk has as a type of human billboard. It's not great if you like wearing hats though. Fidget spinners were a massive fad. So if I received this phone, I'd be terribly disappointed. Aggressively spinning your most important electrical device isn't a smart idea. I can appreciate that for some people, this perspective tattoo of Jesus nailed to the cross might be very meaningful, but I'd have mixed feelings about shaking his hand after seeing it. But you don't need a tattoo to make your friends freak out. Just wear these fish sandals. Nothing says my feet may or may not be very smelly better than these. Oh, and here's one perfect for that lady in your local park who likes to feed the birds that projectile poop all over your car. A pair of pigeon-shaped heels. If ever Birdman gets a female counterpart, I know what footwear she'll have. There's nothing inherently wrong with wanting to do things differently, but function and form need to work together. This wooden sink with its many levels looks great, right? But imagine how difficult it is to place the dishes inside of or clear out all the food waste. A nice apartment or house needs a good coffee table, but a concrete slab? Seriously? Was this stolen from a construction site? Actually, I kind of like this one, but I bet it was sold for thousands by some pretentious interior designer. When you think of an all-American car, you may picture a Ford pickup, but you'd be wrong. This burger car is as American as it gets. Take it to the drive-thru for extra America points. I've got several pairs of Chuck Taylor All-Star shoes. I prefer the simple, dark-colored designs. Collaborations are cool and all, but shoes inspired by a soup? Unless it's some famous piece by Andy Warhol, you won't see me wearing these. But then again, maybe I just don't understand fashion. These extendo pants are apparently worth $500. How big of a basketball fan are you? You may have the jerseys of your favorite superstars, but are you willing to make your head look like the ball itself? Now that's true dedication, because after a few days of hair growth, that design will fade fast. Some people enjoy cosplay every now and then. However, this guy isn't doing cosplay. He just wears his outfit every single day because he believes he's a prince from heaven. Interesting stuff. Be yourself, my friend. But doesn't that, like, get in the way a lot? Sometimes I feel like I don't know where I'm headed. So for people like me who can make great decisions, these shoes are absolutely perfect. Have you ever had a moment where you just don't know how to react to something? Seeing this shoe-shaped truck made me pretty much speechless. I don't know why it exists, but I feel like I don't want to know either. I devour cake quicker than the oxygen I breathe. I just love cake, but if you offer me a slice of this, you can keep it. That said, recreating the moment of my birth for a birthday cake isn't very appetizing either. Please don't do it. How would you react if you saw this? Would you be enticed to buy pants from this store? I'd be pretty terrified. Imagine seeing this at night. Floating pants. It's as if the mannequins got a life of their own and decided to run away before the employees chased them down and caught the upper half of their bodies. A yin yang tattoo isn't anything new, but this variant of Lenny and Carl from The Simpsons is sure to get some looks. An instant classic if you ask me. It's not only Lenny and Carl who need to be in a tattoo. If you're a fan of Hey Arnold, you know that Gerald has tall curly hair just like Marge from The Simpsons. So maybe, just maybe, he's the son of Carl and Marge? Childhood ruined. How much do you love the trunk of your car? Probably not as much as this person. One good car trunk wasn't enough, so the obvious solution was to get another one. At this point, I'm just waiting for the car to transform into a robot. You know what's more important than life? Golf. These guys just won't leave, despite the raging forest fire that raged through Oregon about a year ago. Just don't shoot out of bounds, I guess. I don't know how to crochet, so I respect people who have the patience and creativity to make crochet items. But this piece of couple's attire completely made using crochet is too weird. I don't even want to ask why they did it. If you're in the market for a seat, you'd want it to be very comfortable. So why not get this starfish-inspired chair made of jeans? 
I know, it looks like a mutant, but at least you can sit on it comfortably, unlike this one. Seriously though, if I wanted to feel unsturdy when sitting down, I'd just buy this chair that looks like a transparent plastic bag. It's undoubtedly cool though. You know there are many things Apple has done that's made me question their vision. For one, they got rid of the earphone jack. Then they admitted to intentionally slowing down user devices so they have to upgrade. But a travel bag specifically for carrying an iMac? Come on. Granted, they probably didn't make this, but would you be surprised if they did? So which photograph did you think was the most absurd? Let me know in the comments section down below, and thanks for watching.